everyone, my name is Carmen and I'm the designer behind New Leaf Designs. Welcome to this tutorial video for the Cozy Moments Shawl. In this tutorial video, we will be knitting lace section E, or the fifth lace section. I've already knit a repeat right here. And we will be creating diamonds in this chart. Now, um, after the last lace section, which was the cable section, we had an increase row. So it's totally normal if your work, if your stitches feel kind of bunched up. Uh, at the start of this lace pattern and uh, when you block your shawl uh, when it's done you might want to block this section a little bit bigger because um, so it will be able to stretch out just wanted to say that up front so if your shawl goes like this um, that it seems tighter here than it is here. That's totally normal. Uh, that happens on my samples as well. So yeah, that's totally normal. If you look at the pattern, you can see that the chart is very long indeed. It is 24 stitches long, but the repeat is only over eight stitches. So why have I shown you 24 stitches? Well, um, actually in row seven, the repeat is a little bit different. So the first repeat and the very last repeat are different from the main repeat. So in the middle you will see the main repeat in a little red box and you will see beginning stitches before that, so to the right of your red box, and you will see end stitches after your red box, so to the left. And that is to indicate the first and last repeat. But as I said, this only goes for row seven. So we only need to look at that at the beginning and at the end stitches for row seven. So for the other rows, I'm simply gonna look at the main pattern. Now, if this is all still abracadabra for you, don't worry at all. Just start with the first row with me and it will all be clear when we get to row seven. Now for row seven, in the beginning stitches, the first yarn over is omitted, and in the very last repeat, the very last knit two together is omitted. So that's what's different in row seven. But as I said, we only have to worry about in row seven, so uh, we can just knit rows one, three and five. And when we get to row seven, I will explain a little bit more about that. So the chart is, as I said, eight stitches wide and also eight rows long. And you will knit 18 rows of this pattern. So that's two full repeats. So two times eight is 16 rows. And then the first two rows once more to really kind of finish off the pattern. And then you can continue on to the next one. So let's start with row one. Okay, so let's start with this pattern. Now, as I said, I've already knit the first repeat. So you can already see kind of a diamond shape here. And we're gonna dig in to row one, which is a very easy row. And I actually really enjoyed knitting this row. I say that, but I actually really enjoy lace knitting in general, so. <laughs> but here we go. So knit those four stitches, slip the marker, and now. The first five stitches of the chart are all knit stitches, so we are going to knit five. And then we are going to knit our central decrease flanked by two yarn overs. So first yarn over, slip one, knit two together, pass slip stitch over and yarn over. And that is the end of the first repeat. 
just going to knit that one stitch to anchor my yarn over. You can actually see that the first row of the second repeat, it um, completes the diamond started in the first repeat. So you will see that as you progress. And I'll show you again in throwing style. So I've already knit one stitch, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Then yarn over, slip one, knit two together, pass slipped stitch over, and yarn over. I'm just going to knit one of the next repeat. And that is our lace repeat for this row. So go ahead and complete this row and also knit the second row which is a purl stitch so you purl all of the stitches between the markers and as always you knit the stitches on the outside of your marker and then meet me back for row three now we are going to do row three of the chart so slip that marker and now we are going to do a yarn over and slip slip knit then we knit one we knit two together and the yarn over then knit three this is the repeat that we'll be doing and it will start the kind of the decrease of that first little half triangle here so i'm going to show you that in throwing style yarn over slip slip knit knit one knit two together yarn over and knit three and that's all there is to it so again this is a pretty easy row but honestly i think after the lace patterns and the cable pattern that we have been doing that pretty much all of the lace patterns after this are gonna seem really easy so just continue on row three and come and meet me back for row five. Okay, let's take a look at row five. As you can see, I've just put in a lifeline simply because I didn't do so at the beginning of the lace chart and I did want to put one in just in case. Um, if you don't know how to put in a lifeline, I have a separate video for that, which is also in the Cozy Moments playlist, so you can check that out. So row five starts with a knit one, uh, then yarn over, and then the double decrease, which is slip one, knit two together, slip that stitch over, and yarn over then we do a knit four and then you're back at the beginning of the chart so you would knit another one so you have five knit stitches in between each of the double decreases so i'll do that repeat again throwing style so knit one then yarn over slip one knit two stitches together and pass that slipped stitch over yarn over and knit four and there you go 
So we are at row seven, which is the row you need to pay a little bit more attention to. So I'm going to pull up the entire length of the chart on the screen. Um, and then we're going to focus on the first section, which is the first repeat shown at the right hand side of the red box. So in here we have four knit stitches first. So we're just going to knit that four knit stitches. Three, four, then yarn over, slip, slip, knit, knit one, and knit two together. And now we are at the red box repeat. And we see that the repeat starts with a yarn over. Now that yarn over was what we did not do at the start of row seven. And that's just to make the pattern uh, workable for at the edge of a shawl pattern. So if we were to do that extra yarn over there, then the pattern just wouldn't work. So that's why there are modified instructions for the very first repeat and also for the very last repeat. So we're going to do the main repeat now. So we start with the yarn over and then knit three. Yarn over, slip, slip, knit, knit one, and knit two together. And that is the main repeat, which I will do once more throwing style. Yarn over, knit three, yarn over, slip, slip, knit, knit one, and knit two together. Now I'll just uh, meet you back for the very last repeat of this row and I'll show you how to knit that one. I'm at the very last repeat now of row seven and looking at the chart to the instructions to the left of the red box, we are now doing a yarn over, then knit three, then yarn over and slip, slip, knit. Up until now, it's been the same as the main repeat. Only now we are not doing knit one and knit two together, but we're just gonna knit these two stitches to make the pattern work for this shawl. Oops, there goes my stitch marker. And then I'm knitting these four stitches. So that was row seven. So that was the end of our fifth lace pattern. So be sure to knit as many rows as it says in the pattern. So again, that's 18 rows if I'm not mistaken. Yes, 18 rows. So two repeats, two full repeats of rows one through eight, and then rows one and two once more to complete it. And yes, then you have it. I really, really hope you are enjoying this knit along or this make along as much as I am enjoying it. And be sure to share your pictures of your shawls in these hippies Facebook groups and also on Instagram with the hashtag cozy moment shawl and hashtag Val Mal. And if you're sharing on Instagram, be sure to tag me as well. I'm at newleafdesigns.nl and you can also tag escapees who are at escapees. We would love to see your shawls and we would love to see your cozy moment. Thank you so much for watching and I'll hope to see you in my next tutorial video. Bye!